was like, I should turn around and look at it. It's hot. You're 29, you got a little bit You're doing the humble time question. I bought a new one, a big one. I have one, I just don't have the little brackets on here. I finally broke down and brought the brackets and the umbrella. But now what I'm doing. Are we going to be you YouTube are. famous? Just walking the A little bit here and there. Say it again. We got an eight. Okay. I trust you. I just want to make sure I heard you right. <laughs> so and we're putting this on 14, right? Yes, sir. Good shot. What hunter get? Twelve. Twelve. What's up everybody? Got our hiking shoes on today. We're at a ASA Texas ASA tournament in Granbury, Texas. What does ASA stand for? They American Target Association? That would be American. ATA. American Shooters Association? <laughs> it's an archery tournament. I don't know what it stands archery for. Sh archery Shooters of America, maybe? I don't know. Y'all tell us, comment below, what's it stand for? All right, we're huffing and puffing. There's a lot of terrain here. They put us, Reed, with a good group of kids. Reed's the only one shooting today. And uh, we're excited. You guys follow us on YouTube. Hey, who's that kid? I think it's all, like, all swimming. Because it's, it's, it's weird, guys. Well, so I was filming earlier, and this guy sarcastically said, are we going to be YouTube famous? Not knowing. I was like, maybe. I doubt it, though. I mean, we're not that famous either, so. How's the battery? It says it's full. That's right, that's right, that's right. So, Hunter got a lead. 
108. This is Hunter. Even or? This is Hunter? Yes, sir. Just, just, just do the score. Don't worry about the even. <laughs> Read. Mm -hmm. And you got a 10 also? Yeah. Alright. You got three tens, right? So far, yeah. Yeah. Eradicating one is not really. It's not gonna hurt. Well, I mean, you might hope. Because you're getting your thing. You know about those birthday presents you haven't got me yet? There's a bow shop in town. I mean, I'm just gonna check it out. Five deer? Mm hmm. Deer we did. We did too. We thought it was gonna. We weren't so worried about it at first. My mom, she was like, eh. Traffic area. <laughs> Going back to the channel, guys. I think we're going down this way, Mom. Here, let me grab my bow. Welcome to the channel. Ugh. I think I'm doing good. Hey, Dad, I got the camera. I don't want to be a cameraman no more. This ain't no fun. Remember, follow through. You've been doing really good. Good shot. Yes. How you shooting? Shooting pretty good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting a new target, bro. <laughs> Have you ever said something and your kid hears something different? Well, no, I'm talking about I'm <laughs> getting a new target, bro, in the near, <laughs> near far future. Far future. Nice. Far future. October is not that far. What are you going to shoot for? Idea. Shooting flat 12 is risky business. How far is it? Fifteen. I'm doing lower. I'm going for lower. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, no, sir. Yep, that's three. D dude. That's a ten. Uh, let's see. Goodness is such a small baby. Alrighty, finally. Tell me first. Trust me. I'd take that. How are you? Alright. Not a bingo in moment. Are you shooting? 
How's he shooting? I think well. I think well. Dark pocket. I'm aiming right for that. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> that is a true statement. Yeah, aim at that, and just a hair above it. Whoa! Uh -oh. What happened? I don't know. I, I, I just heard it. From war in Ukraine. I was going to have Reed tell him what happened, but tell him what happened. His arrow broke coming out of the bow. It was exploding. Yeah. Thankfully, it, it uh, didn't hurt his bow. Um, Thankfully, it didn't hurt him. Yeah, or, yeah, him, yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, that's like a fluke. It must have had a little bit of a weak spot in it and yeah. Yeah, so. sucks for him but it's he's still got a ton more targets to go so yeah. he can make it up Follow through. Get that arrow on the center. Yeah. Be good. Follow through. Watch that one. Yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah, I can tell. Follow through. Good shot. Can't think about the heat. Four tens. Everybody's team. Good deal. Okay. Good shooting, guys. That was a good shot. Twenty. Yeah. Take your time. Squeeze that trigger and follow through. That's Reed right here. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, he's eight. It's a hot motor scooter out here. <laughs> We're not using umbrellas because it's raining. Because it's isn't... I'm moving a little slow, but I'm moving, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You get my age and it can't move that fast anymore. <laughs> I think these kids are. <sighs> so we're on. I think we have like nine more yeah. targets. <laughs> it is hot. It, it, I don't know the temperature. We don't have good service, but I'm guessing it's over 100 right now. Um, we chose today because it's going to be cooler of the two days. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 102, but I think we're pretty dang close. Reed's 
trying to tough it out, but it is hot, hot, hot. Whew. Be hard. Do you like stuff right now? Oh, I have stuff too. I don't know if y'all can see it, but now we get to climb that. After we've been out here for four and a half hours, that's what we get to climb. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have eight more. Feels like 800 more. The group that we're with is um, young boys and they are struggling. It's hot, they're hungry. Um, We've been pumping them with snacks and electrolytes, but it's hot. So hopefully we're going to get these next eight knocked out quickly so we can all get on the road and get an air conditioning and go home. We'll see. You good? Did you almost fall? Yeah. Again? These freaking shoes are not... That's why I was telling you why I need to get some new ones. Back and forth, back and forth, because I thought vineyards was vineyards. I was watching it shake my mic. <laughs> but I didn't want to say let down. No, weather up says it's 88. It's lying. it's lying. There's no way on this planet it is 88 degrees right something now. It's at least mid to upper 90s. Yeah. Three more targets to go. I thought you were going to go with Dwarf Cousin. We're hitching a, bat, a ride back. It's too hard. So we're done. We'll recap everything and close it out once we get back up to the, what is it called? <laughs> up to the chicken room. Yeah. What's up everybody? So I was sitting here editing this video. So if any of y'all don't know, uh, we have to edit all our own videos so they don't just go out. We have to actually put them on the laptop and go through them. And in the video, Shanna just said that we were gonna close the video out when we got back to the parking lot. Um, it was crazy hot that day and we got in the car and Shanna really quickly started fading on us and Ended up having, she didn't go to the doctor, but um, ended up having heat exhaustion. Is that fair? Yeah, but I feel like I was dying. Seriously, <laughs> it was bad. It was the worst I've ever felt. I've had three kids. So she was, um, uh, she was, she started getting hungry, and we were out kind of away. That the shoot was out away from um, town. So we were, I was driving fast trying to get us back into town, and she kept getting hungrier, then got nauseous. And then by the time we got to where we could eat, um, she was so nauseous she couldn't eat. And then um, had a really bad headache and we contemplated um, taking her somewhere. Um, there was a point where I was kind of like, if she doesn't get better here in the next little bit, we're gonna stop it in the ER or a, um, urgent care or something like that. Um, got her home, got some, finally got some food in her, like at the end of the drive, it was a two hour drive, got some food in her uh, and um, she kind of started perking back up, and then by the time we were home, you were back to normal, weren't you? Yeah, I had- Shanna's sitting next to me paying bills. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've been outside <laughs> working too. I look horrible. Yeah, I think I had also taken some of uh, our daughter's migraine medicine, yeah. because I had a headache like I've never in my life had, which is part of heat exhaustion. Yeah. 
it was throbbing and it hurt so bad and I think that with me being as hot as I was and um not eating I think it was just a combination mm. I mean I tried to I tried to force myself to eat but I was so nauseated and sick but once her migraine medicine picked in and I Tobin stopped we stopped at HEB and got me a uh, Dramamine and once I could get the nausea under control my headache gone a little bit then I ate I felt a lot better it was like night and day because yeah. then I got home and I like Back to normal. I mean I ate everything inside yeah, so uh, that's kind of what happened. We intended to do the close up the video in the parking lot, and we just it was hot, and we were trying to get out of there, and we were going to do it when we got home, and then just all that happened. But anyway, we want I wanted to wait to close the video out because I want to tell y'all, Reed, that is a that that is a Texas ASA tournament that we were at, and that was the second one that Reed shot at. The first one he went to was when I was really sick, and he had a malfunction on his bow, and he placed fourth maybe or fifth. Uh, they give awards mm -hmm. through third. He picked this, fourth. Fourth. And this was his second. Um, I'm glad that I was able to be there. And he placed second place um, out of five boys. Um, something no, like six. that. six. Six boys. Um, so, yeah, six boys. Mm -hmm. So he, he did really, really well for his second tournament. So we're really proud of him. He met a, a buddy there that he's been talking to. And we actually shot at another tournament recently that you'll see another video on. Uh, that they, we got to shoot with that same uh, buddy his again. So um, he's excited about that. And. It's a, been a great experience, so um, yeah, so I just want to close the video out. Thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe, uh, comment, hit the thumbs up, and uh, we appreciate it.